The general consensus is that 40% of the world's population is financially illiterate and things get even worse when you evaluate each country individually, in developing countries this percentage skyrockets to almost 80%. This is why we started this channel. Make no mistake, there is a price to pay for financial ignorance as reported by the National Financial Educators Council that in 2022 which shows the lack of financial literacy costs 15% of adults at least $10,000, now that's a lot of money and if you don't want to be one of them you'd better watch this video here are 3 easy ways to increase your financial IQ. The Finance Matrix First and foremost you need to understand the so-called Finance Matrix. Now this is the foundation of all the elements of financial literacy so make sure you've got a decent understanding of how the banking system, and money work before diving in. We have a videos on how to set up your daily banking, the 4 key pillars of finance plus many more and strongly recommend you watch our beginners guide playlist first and then circle back to this video, it will give you a basic foundation. We will also be having more videos in the future on the banking system, but we would always suggest you do some self-research too. You need to understand how money ebbs and flows through the economy and we encourage you grasp the complexities of the banking system with the inner workings of money as this is the basis for increasing your financial IQ. By mastering key concepts such as interest rates, inflation and credit you can craft a strategic approach to saving investing and managing risk and this will allow you to optimize your wealth and steer clear of potential hazards. Acquainting yourself with the fundamentals of loans and borrowing equips you to utilize debt judiciously it'll also make you smarter when it comes to selecting the most advantageous credit products and securing favorable terms during negotiations with lenders. We covered how the rich use debt to their favor in the nine secrets rich know but the poor don't. Now comprehensive understanding of the banking system, and monetary mechanisms not only bolsters your personal financial management prowess but it also expands your comprehension of overarching economic forces. We're of course talking about macroeconomics here recognizing the ways in which banks and monetary policies shape the wider economy empowers you allowing you to adapt your financial game plan in response to fluctuating economic circumstances. This is important if you want to ensure that your investments maintain diversity and that your financial objectives remain within reach. Remember billionaires are made during times of economic turmoil and financially educated people see these moments as opportunities because they know the economy has a life cycle of its own allowing these to be the best times to build generational wealth, and they only come around about once every few decades this is why investing time and effort in learning about the banking system and money is an invaluable investment in yourself and your financial future. This foundational knowledge equips you with the tools necessary for effective decision-making astute risk management, and the cultivation of wealth. Implement Zero-Based Budgeting Second key advice is implementing Zero-Based Budgeting or ZBB, is an innovative financial management approach that entails assigning every dollar of your income to particular expenses savings or investments ensuring that no funds remain unallocated. So contrary to conventional budgeting techniques which emphasize modifying prior budgets, ZBB commences from scratch each time obliging you to substantiate every expenditure and prioritize your financial objectives, so this method fosters deliberate spending, heightened financial awareness and an amplified sense of control over your finances to adopt zero-based budgeting. You can start by enumerating your monthly income sources which encompasses forms of income streams then you're going to want to itemize all of your expenses categorizing them into fixed costs for example rent utilities etc, and then their variable costs like groceries or entertainment and lastly allocate the residual funds into savings investments or debt repayment making sure that every dollar of your income, is designed for a specific purpose. You can use the 50, 30, 20 method, which we will cover in full on a future video but the basic is 50% of you income is on fixed bills, 30% can be guilt-free spending whilst the last 20% should be split between everyday savings and investments. Employing a zero-based budget empowers you to pinpoint areas where overspending might be happening enabling you to redirect those funds toward achieving your financial aspirations periodically reviewing and fine-tuning your budget. 
This fosters accountability and ensures that you consistently progress toward financial stability and triumph over time. This systematic approach can assist you in forging superior money management habits and nurturing a more conscientious attitude toward your finances. Read Influential Personal Finance Books Reading influential personal finance books can significantly improve your financial IQ by providing valuable insights, practical advice and tried and tested strategies from experts in the field. These books often cover a wide range of topics such as budgeting, saving, investing, debt management and wealth building. By learning from the experiences and knowledge of accomplished financial authors, or other successful multimillionaires, you can develop a strong foundation in personal finance and apply their wisdom to your own financial journey. Influential personal finance books often feature relatable stories, case studies and real-life examples that make complex financial concepts a lot more accessible and engaging they can help you to identify and overcome common financial challenges, supporting the developer growth mindset and cultivate habits that promote long-term financial success. Reading these books can also provide inspiration and motivation to take control of your finances, set ambitious financial goals and pursue a path toward financial independence. To get the most out of reading personal finance books consider taking notes or creating summaries of key takeaways and then applying those lessons to your own financial situation implement the strategies and techniques you learn in a way that best suits your unique financial goals and circumstances. We've done this for you on the playlist that is going to appear on your screen shortly. Continuously seek out new books and resources to expand your knowledge. Stay up to date with the ever-changing financial landscape and adapt your financial strategies as you progress through different life stages and if you're looking for a book recommendation just browse our Luke Belmar collection playlist on our channel we've got plenty of videos where we provide overviews of great finance books. Hope these three tips to improve your financial IQ have been helpful and don't forget to check out our other videos on the subjects mentioned above. Also drop a like and subscribe to be notified when a new video drops further enhancing on the tips provided in this video. Until next time, stay financially savvy.